Hi, in the previous class we have seen 10 queries related to the company database. Now in this class we will see the remaining queries from 11 to 20. Okay, let us see the first one. Find the name, address, department of all employees who works for the same department. Means they are asking for to display name, address, department of the respective employees who works for the respective department. Guys, is there any question related to like they are working for the playing department or administrative department like that? No, they haven't given, right? So, let us try to find out first the people who are working for the same department. Same department means uh, playing or administration or like that, right? So, let us write select first name comma last name comma address and also we are trying to display department name so that we can get clarity whether they are belongs to the same department or not department name from employee table and department information is available in the department table where d number equal to d number we have to join and and d name equal to let us take play observe guys so these are the people whose first name, last name, address are uh, belongs to the playing department. Playing department. But they are asking for all the departments, right? So what you can do simply instead of uh, filtering with the D name, you can just go with this one. Observe. So playing department people we got, administrative department people we got, headquarters department we got, right? It's better to make them in order. Order by by department that's it right administrative department contains three people and headquarters contains one person and playing department contains four people like this we can able to solve this problem next list the name of all employees who works on the project controlled by department number five means whatever the department is there department number five the the like the projects which are under the control of department of five you have to print all those project employees right see what you can do now see if you are able to observe the schema schema right if, if you observe the project table project table contains project numbers and also department number right if you are able to view the instance if you are able to ins view the instance like uh, select star from project you are going to get the department number along with the project number right so how many projects are there in the department number five one two three are the projects right and they are asking for they are asking for who are the employees working on these project numbers one two three that's what right if you want you can just go through list the name of all employees who works on the projects controlled by department number five meaning that we have to find department number five projects and who are working on that project we have to find out right so how can you do that so you know project numbers and department numbers are available here and in the in the works on schema you can able to observe esn and project numbers are there right yes. so how can you write so let, let me write this query select we need to have first name last name from employee table along with we need to combine with the project table along with we need to combine with the works on table works on table and we need to filter with the base condition the base condition is where dnum equal to 5 so that we are going to get we are going to get 1 2 3 other project numbers the other project number. and these project numbers these project numbers has to be right P number has to be matched with the project numbers of the works on relation. Project numbers of the works on relation and and the ESSN here, whatever the things we are going to get, that should be matched with the SSN of the employees. SSN of the employees. Right? If you are going to enter, you will get the data. Right? Yes. Here you are going to get the duplicate data. So instead of getting the duplicate data, 
we can you can make use of distinct keyword right sachin bhuvi sehwag harmanpreet are the four persons who are working under the control of department of file where three projects are there those are 1 2 3 okay let's see next one retrieve the names of employees who are having dependents right so means if you take employees employees having some dependent like uh, their father mother son daughter spouse like that right so basically employee details are available in employee table and the dependents table is a uh, dependents available in family table right now if you are able to observe how can we combine these two tables we can able to combine with the help of their ssn of the employee table and essn of the family table right if you are going to say that if you are going to say that uh, if ssn of the employee table is going to match with the essn of the family table then i then i say that they are having the dependents or not yes that is what the question retrieve the names of employees who are having dependents so we can write right you see so select they are asking for first name last name and uh, let let me try to print their dependent name also right so dependent name they have written as dependent name uh, dependent underscore name from employee employee family and i need to make the join condition where Where SSN equal to ESSN. That's it, right? If they are going to be match, if they are going to match, it is going to produce their records. That means that they are having dependents. Yes, sir. Seva, Sixer, whose dependent is Koti, Krishna, Ritika. These are the dependents for Seva, and for Rohit, Shashi is the dependent. For Sachin. these are the three people are the dependent people right yes you have understood that right yes let's see the next query mm, retrieve the dependent names and employee name who are working as a manager means earlier what we did we did uh, to work on all the data right whether they are administrator whether they are uh, normal person or whatever it may be right we are going to filter to get all the dependent names along with their first name and last name now the question is they are specifically filtering with uh, who are having a manager who are working as a manager right so we can simply use the previous query only where ssn equal to essn and and we have to make sure that they has to be manager right so ssn equal to manager underscore ssn right manager underscore ssn is an attribute is available in department table if you are able to observe right so sevag and rohit only get because sevag is the person who is having the ssn as 532 who is a manager and rohit is a person who is also a manager uh, i think around 534 is the uh, uh, employee ssn member and who is also acting as a manager for the playing department right yes let's see the next 15th one retrieve the all employees who are working on project number 2 comma 3 comma 4 means we need to print all the employees details who are working on either 2 project number or either 3 project number or either 4 project number then how we are going to write select uh right they are asking for all employee details so i will go for simply placing the star from employee table and you know if if you are able to observe the schema schema project numbers are available in works on table essn as there right if you are going to get the data from here and if you are going to make it join with the employee table you are going to get the data right so i will write with employee comma works on works on uh, where 
where you can write it as um, or else so what i will do now i will write i will try to write with help of uh, sub queries so select star from employee where i am going to take ssn ssn that should be present in the inner query right so select ssn from works on the relation where project number in either 2 or 3 or 4 i hope you know the meaning right so here i try to use for two times of in in operator right yes. observe guys these are the persons who are working on the projects 2 3 4 this is the way you can write so here what i did first i try to find out all the employees all the employee ssns who are working on project number 2 3 4 so this is what we got it from the person relation and that same data i am going to give input to the uh, outer query so that it is going to get the respective details okay next is the next one retrieve the names of managers who have at least one dependent guys uh, so here they are asking for uh, to print the manager details who have at least one dependent right so means is it the equality to the 14th one yes right who are having dependents is same as who are having at least two dependents so both are same so you can go with the 14th one right yes next one retrieve the employee details who are having dependents by using existence keyword right so guys so we can do it with the help of basic thing right because if you, if you are going to go with the 14th query where we have used normal operation right here in the 17th query they are specifically asking for try to use with the exist keyword right so when you are going to use the exist keyword i can say that it is a kind of a correlated query correlated query so how we are going to do that right so let me write select what are they what they are asking for they are asking for first name from from employee table employee table where where we need to use the exist keyword right use the exist keyword means outer query need to print its details when it is going to match with the inner query right so select essn from family table where where employee dot ssn is equal to family dot essn family dot yes what are the things one if inner query is going to produce at least one row then the respective row is going to print at the out, outer query right here the inner query is working based on the outer query and the outer query is, is working based on the inner query that's why i am calling it as correlated sub query if i press enter you are going to get right so these are the persons who are the who are the uh, like who are having dependents who are having dependents but this we did with the help of uh, exist keyword exist keyword okay now let's see the next one retrieve the department name department number and count of employees for every department means they are asking for to find out the number of employees working on each department right all the details are available at the employee table and the department table right so guys first let me try to find out the number of employees working on the department number right so can we use the group by query yes count of star from employee table employee table simply we can able to perform group by operation group by department number right you are going to get right so on department number 1 1 employee is there on department number 4 3 employees are there on department number 5 4 employees are there but here the question is we need to print department number uh name also name also right so then can we use directly here d name no because d name is available at the respective data of department table so we can able to go with the department department right and we need to make sure to group by department name comma department name observe guys 
so here you are getting you are getting i think multiple times the data right administration 1 1 administration 4 3 administration 5 4 like that right i think it is a wrong data am i right because because we need to make sure to combine right first we need to make sure to combine right so how can we combine where d number equal to d number now you can observe you are going to get headquarters department number is 1 count is 1 administration department number is 4 count is 4 playing department department number is 5 count is 4 like that you can able to use this query so when we, when they are asking for to perform some kind of aggregate operation it's better to go with group by it's not exactly for always based on the need we have to go okay next let's see uh, 19th one retrieve the details of employee and no dependence for each employee no dependence for each employee what are the fingers one so can we write it as opposite to the opposite to the 17th query 17th query what they are asking like retrieve the employee details who have dependency by exist code meaning that if they have at least one dependency we need to print the details now here the question is we need to print the details of the employees who have no dependency just operate to that one right so what i can do i can simply make use of writing the same query again select first name comma last name from employee where i am going to use exist keyword for to show the example select ESSN from family where employee dot ssn equal to ssn equal to family dot ESSN if i press enter you are going to get all the people who are having at least one dependent right but we are asking here we are asking here who have no dependence so what you can do simply we can simply filter out with the help of uh, not keyword not exist if you enter where these are the people who don't have any exist, uh, any dependence right so basically without using not exist also we can write right so we can go with the not in right so that that you can try by yourself next let's see 20th query Retrieve the employee names whose salary is more than depart number for employee salary. Right? What is the meaning of this one? We need to print the salaries of all employees who is more than more than all employees and they have to be from not from department number 4. Right? So what you can do now? So I will try to write. I am going to print select star from employee as e as e where e dot salary is greater than greater than all the other employees all the other employees right so I can simply write select select uh, salary from employee where so I can give alias name employee as let's see the 20th query retrieve the employee names whose salary is more than department number 4 meaning that here they are asking for to print the employee names whose salary is more than the department number 4 employees as well as uh, as well as the all the other employee salaries meaning that it has to be minimum of department number 4 employees right so for example department number 4 employee is see if i try to print select star from employee where where department number 4 equal to 4 right we got this data right so we got this data and we are going to have salaries are 15,000, 33,000, 26,000 right so we need to find out the employees such a way that 
the employee should have the salary should be greater than all these salaries all the salary right? we have to find out such kind of employees right so try to write the query so what i will do first i will try to print uh, uh, the department number for employees that is what we did and now what i will do now i will try to give it to the another query so how can i write means select star from i am going to write as employee as e1 where where e1 dot salary e1 dot salary should be greater than all the employees all the employees who are from the department of four right so we can able to get right select salary select salary i am going to use alias name here e2 dot salary means i am going to use one more table of that same table type as e2 select e2 dot salary from employee as e2 where where the department number is belongs to e2 table where department number equal to so that's it what the, what i did here in the inner side i have tried to print all the employee salaries who are working in the department number 4 and that i am going to give as input to the outer query outer query where the query is going to check for the employee salaries who are more than these three salaries if i press enter option ravi is the person who is having the salary more than all the remaining uh, three employees that is uh, 40000 is the salary right so you have to use the respect to uh, kind of operators whether whether you have to use all whether it has any whether you have to use exist keyword like that right so here I, why i have used all operator because they are asking for to find out all the employees okay which are more than all the other employees who are working in the department of four that's the reason we are going we are going for all but if they are asking for at least any one of the employee then you can go for any right? if you are able to observe here if i write any in, in addition to in addition to ravi shastri you are going to get all the remaining try to observe you are going to get all other the data right so 20000 which is greater than 15000 30000 which is greater than 33000 as well as 15000 33000 is greater than the 15000 and 18000 is greater than the 15000 so like that so all other data also putting, which, is, which is going to satisfy at least one condition then you are going to get the rate okay fine so in the next class we'll see 10 more queries related to the company database i hope you understood clearly thank you